Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. <laughs> Just did it. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Sharon. And this is the Two Artsy Gals Podcast, brought to you tonight by Oxycodone. Yeah, get some. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm recovering from my surgery, and I'm on <laughs> drugs. And because I'm on drugs and recovering from my surgery, my mom is taking care of me. So she's our special guest tonight. What? Now, now you can talk. Hello! You don't, don't oh. yell. Oh, don't. sorry. <laughs> this is my mom, Joy. Hello, lovely to meet you. Mom, what? You don't need to yell. <laughs> God, this is already out of control. I'm not yelling. Just talk like you're talking to me, okay. fucking twins. I usually yell at you. All right. Katie's mom's oh. our guest speaker, and she's fucking hilarious. This is out of control already, and I'm so fucking out of... Oh my god. Wow. Okay, okay, guess li okay, listeners, what we're going to talk about today. Let me just take control of this crazy chain um and get it back on the rails. Okay. Um today we're going to talk about making gifts that don't suck. Yeah. Cuz dude, I know. Okay. You've been in the situation, have you ever been in the situation where you have to open up a gift that somebody's made you for Christmas? Oh my god, yeah, like your Aunt Donna, it'll suck. Oh! <laughs> well, let's just pull it out of the box right now. No, and you you have to be like, you don't want to be like, dude, what is this fucking mess that you have given me? Like, this is awful, but you don't want to say that. No. And but... God forbid, you don't want to be the one that gave someone that shit. Oh, and I've so been that person. Me too! Oh, yeah, where you're like, man, I should have just maybe gone to the dollar store totally. or even 7-Eleven. Yeah, 7-Eleven. Like, I finally got my mom to admit the year that I made the fucking, the first year that I knew how to crochet. Like, I learned over Thanksgiving. So between Thanksgiving and Christmas, I crocheted everybody ear flap hats. <laughs> Seriously? My whole family looked like you could shove them in the fucking short plus and they'd lick the goddamn windows. They were just like hurt third. <laughs> they were bad. They were horrible hats. They were they were, they were nice. They, Mom, you just well, sucked ass. Right. But we told you we liked them. My brother's like, dude, this give me a rash on my fucking head. What is this knitted out of? Because it was knitted out of cheap ass yarn. And oh no. Did you get the grandma yarn? I got the grandma yarn. Oh no. Was it the the heart? The, the red heart. heart. Oh. Like, yeah. 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 It was That's bad. Not good on but your head. It was bad, you know? I'm like, we've all done it. We've all got those gifts. And what the fuck is your problem, dog? And you don't want to be that person. So, no. But more, more than anything, though, I, I think before we get into like talking about like how to make gifts and stuff, people need to know how to fucking give gifts because some people do not. Mm. I said I don't understand that. What do you mean? What I mean is, Okay. No, okay. Go. I wrap it up and I go. No, no. Here Mother. you go. Enjoy your gift. Slow your fucking roll, yo. Go back it up. Because we're talking about, like, know who you're giving a gift oh. to. Oh, okay. Like, know the Like person. you really care. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, give a gift that is not, first of all, that my I'm mom not. is so fucking guilty of this. And she Shut gets up. so mad at me. Because you're being rude. She, fuck off. She buys things that she likes. At least I know they're nice. Because she thinks that you should like them as well. 
Even if you don't like that kind of thing that she's getting you. Yeah. <laughs> She'll give it to you. Yeah. That's not okay. No. <laughs> yes, it is. Because they're always <laughs> lovely gifts. I don't buy cheap. Well, <clears throat> how do you feel about getting them back? Oh, maybe that's what she's doing. She's that's hoping exactly to get them back the next year doing. in a white elephant. Yeah. In a good white elephant gift giving. I don't even want to fucking talk about white elephant because I will tell you what. Those are rude games. Those just like end up in a nothing but a fucking brawl. Oh totally. God! You remember at our were you at our were you at the holiday party when everybody got the white elephant gifts? Well, but there were two people that didn't like went wrong because that's the whole thing. White elephant, you're supposed to get a crappy, ridiculous gift, and this poor girl who was like 20 really, really wanted one of those nice gifts, but. It was really awesome because what she got at the end was giant granny panties and an ABBA album. She was so young, she didn't even know who ABBA was. And I just about died laughing. And then we made her put on the giant panties. Wait, was this from like when, from Planned Parenthood? Uh-huh. Oh, that, I missed that one. It's Sharon Frozen. That, that. Huh? <laughs> 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 You went. Wait. You went. Uh, oh. God, you got this. <laughs> oh my god. I feel so retarded right now. <laughs> like to ask you how stupid you were the other day. Oh okay. So, this is like the whole point of it is like, when you're yeah, making a easy. gift for someone, don't make them based on your likes and dislikes. Like, oh my god, I'm gonna. One moment. So yeah, you do, you know what? Make gifts based on the person you're making it for's likes and dislikes, not your own. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. And when in doubt, ask what kind of things do you like? Like what do you need for Christmas? Or here's another right. thing. Know the sizes of things. Like if you're gonna make hats or gloves or you know, if you're making something, make sure you double check sizes. Those are important things to know. Good idea. It makes you feel pretty shitty when you get a homemade gift that doesn't fit you because you can't exchange it. Yeah. And now you have something that doesn't Mm -hmm. fit you and you feel like you have a grotesquely large head or something and it makes you sad. And also, give from the heart, yo. Give something like, give (sighs) something because you wanted to look at me like that. I'm interested. Katie is giving her her (sighs) mom a real (laughs) glare. What'd you say, Joy? I said I was interested. It's okay. Oh, she was interested. But you give from the heart. Like, don't just give someone a shitty thing. I never give shitty because I, I like it. I'm not telling you. Oh, oh all right. We're talking to oh. podcast land. I'm oh. not personally lecturing you. I thought you, you were. I was saying, excuse me. Well, hey, okay, narcissist. It's all about you. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god we need to do a, just another podcast that's i don't know you guys it's hilarious <laughs> this is good shit so and okay now i got a prime example of the next thing like you need to make things easy on yourself when you're making homemade gifts like and the biggest thing is to give yourself enough time like don't start shit a week before christmas oh yes and you know we've all done it. We've all no. done the last minute shit. Oh, we totally do. It doesn't work. Oh yeah, good. burning the candle at both ends. Yeah, yeah. It's and then not good. and then you're in a panic and you're freaking out because you need to get to Michael's at the last minute and they don't have anything because they never have anything. Oh, and their shelves are always empty. I'm gonna have a fucking Sorry, sidebar Michaels. here for one second because I am pissed, at Joanne's today. We went in there, and I had to, look, my ankle fucking hurts, I was tired, we go in there, and ha, is it just me, or have they moved all the show, shelves fucking closer together mm, to I make don't know. Not, accommodate not at our for more? Yet. Oh my god, this shit's packed to the fucking well, the rafters, and they then there's, it's added people, stuff. they've added stuff, and it's it was hot. Was it hot in there? Or was I having a hot flash? You were flash? having another oxycodone hot flash. I wasn't on the oxy then. It was left over. Oh, it was out of control. And I was looking for something. Not only do they not fucking... This is what pisses me off. 
It seems like craft and fabric stores cater to the most expensive hobbies. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have one of those hobbies, you can just suck hind tit or something. So I wanted fucking paper, just colored paper, regular fucking like eight and a half by 11 open stock, like paper that's colored for quilling. They didn't have what I wanted. And God forbid they fucking hire someone to be working on the floor to assist people when they can't oh. find something. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what'd you do? I got mad and left. I made oh. my purchase and then I asked him at checkout. And then she's all, no, we don't carry that. And I'm like, you don't carry plain colored paper? Like, it's all that shit for fucking scrapbooking that costs $100 million. Oh, yeah. And I don't want that. That's not what I needed. It won't work for what I'm doing. And she goes, we do sell construction paper. Well, if I wanted fucking construction paper, I would have bought a thing of construction paper. That won't fucking (laughs) work either. I just wanted to, but she said that actually, you know what? I wanted to tell her to go take a break and brush her fucking teeth because all you could see is the yellow scrudge on her teeth. It was like she had fucking sweaters on her oh, teeth. Oh, no. It was fucking disgusting. I didn't look at her that close. Well, all her big teeth were right in my face oh. and they were unclean. <laughs> so, rant. I'm, I'm sorry I had to have that rant. But they oh, could... It's okay because then I need to find out because you texted me and what happened at Michael's? Did you make it to Michael's? We did make it to Michael's. I called Michael's before we ever went in there to see if they had what I needed. It was still questionable, but I found it. Okay. And then we, Because that that doesn't surprise me that they did actually have that, but so many times they don't have what you need. It's like the peanut butter without the jelly. I know, right? Yeah. And it, it pisses me off. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, I don't know if you've noticed this about your Joanne's, but they have stopped carrying a lot of things in store. Mm-hmm. So, well, if I wanted to fucking order them online, I wouldn't pay Joanne prices. I'm well, paying right. your prices because I want to drive for five minutes and have it in my hand and go home and use it because I need it now. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. That, anyway. See, that's the way that I feel about Michael's. I feel that so way about both times. of them. They it, The shelves are empty. Yeah. I see a tag, but it, it's always empty. Who's ordering who that person that's in charge of ordering needs to be fired or they just need to not have that at their store well that's like i was going looking for a specific crochet hook one day at at joanne's it was in the whole aisle was entirely empty there was nothing there who who was in charge of ordering that's what i asked i was actually a little bit rude which i'm kind of embarrassed about but i was like Did you forget to place your order? Like, but apparently they have had a real issue with people stealing them. So So they just don't order them? They just don't order them? Exactly. I said, so you're not ordering them anymore? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. She said, well, you can get them online. I know. I need it now. I am here because I need it now. If I wanted to buy it online, I would go to Amazon and order one for half the fucking price, you dumb twat. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, mom. my God. <clears throat> but, and then that's why maybe your gift sucks. Maybe it's just the Joanne people's fault. It is. It's all their fault. But anyway, if you give yourself enough time, then you don't have to worry about this shit. Because that's true. actually, Long I... Short. Huh? Long story short. Yeah. If you give yourself time. Yeah. Because that's actually what I was buying stuff for a gift that I'm making this week for my niece's birthday, which I should have bought the stuff for it long before this, but you know, so digress. And here's another thing like, okay, handmade gifts are awesome and you can look up cool ideas on the internet, but don't choose right before Christmas or when you want to give this gift to learn how to do something new. Yeah, such as crocheting or knitting. Not a good idea. Yeah, ask my mom about the whole, like, okay, I've recently been trying to learn how to knit socks two at a time. Oh, that was Oh, bad. good lord. <clears throat> it's, it's, 
Well, your drug thing didn't help. No, I was doing it while I was no. taking pain medication. No, and you know what? I got some of the worst migraines when I tried to do that. Not drug induced. Um, yeah, that stuff is crazy. Well, I uh, learned that from a master knitter, and I mean, she whips out dresses in an afternoon. That's insane. She's like a robot. It's amazing. Well, but nobody else should be able to do that. No, no. And then I would feel super proud of myself because I would be like, I'm doing awesome. Look, I got two sock cuffs going. This is fucking great. And then I would get up in the morning and look at what I did, not under the influence of oxycodone. And I would be like, what in the fuck? And I yeah. would have to rip it all out. Oh, yeah. And start all over again. Yeah, that's like a project that you want to start after Christmas to learn. Yeah. And make sure that you probably have a couple of years. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> Don't... actually trying to knit the socks for my husband for Christmas. So I went back to just doing one sock at a time for now. because That's a good idea. There's just no way it's going to happen. No. No, but that, have you ever, like, what, 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 do you have a last minute story? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I was, I tried to learn how to crochet. See, I'm going to learn how to crochet from Katie, but I wanted to make a scarf for my friend, and it looked like a peanut. It was just like, woo, it was all wavy. I guess I could have just gone with that, but it was so hideous. And he didn't get a Hanukkah gift that year. Um, oh, it was so oh. ugly. But same, you know. I, and I, I, I told them about it. I told them I had good intentions, but yeah. it would have been horrible. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, so, and the point is, you make it really hard on yourself when you do that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. And it's frustrating. It's materials wasted. And you mean if you waste a lot of money mm -hmm. when yeah, you're doing stuff you like that. You yeah, know? so take a class. Take a class, learn how to do it. Stick with your stick with your skill set mm -hmm. when you're when you're making gifts. That's right. You know, and, and don't feel like you have to make a gift for every single person if you don't want. If it, you can't, because yeah. that's when it can start to suck. That's it. Don't overwhelm yourself. Like if you think yes. that you're gonna make something for every person in your family, that's that's a tall order. Yeah. Yeah, don't think that you're going to make it for, yeah, every single person in your family. No. I mean, you know, there's things like, okay, you can make baked goods and stuff and send them to people. I like to bake cookies because I can't, mm -hmm. I can't afford to give every single person I want to give a gift a big fancy gift. So right. I, I make cookies for my friends and mail them out. But oh, oh, and people love that. Here's the thing. Make goodies, not grodies. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, yep. don't send fucking fruitcakes. No, that's, <laughs> we had a fruitcake that sat in our cupboard, I don't know for how many years, and as a kid I was always like, what is that thing? And I'd poke it, because my grandparents sent it to us, God rest their souls. Um, but my mom was like, it's a fruitcake. But I just don't think she had a heart, the heart to throw it away. <laughs> Yeah, it's really me. Okay, can I say this now, people? Nobody likes fruitcake. I do. Did you get dropped on your head as a child? <laughs> no. I don't like the stuff with the citrine in it, but I like a fruitcake with nuts and berries and cherries. Those gross candy cherries? They're quite delicious. They're like eating a fucking fish eyeball. It is not. It's good. You're high. I like fruit. Okay, cake. everybody, send a fruit cake to my mom, but nobody else. <laughs> That's right. And I think you're right because sometimes you know there's people out there that can make really the like all the fudge and the really cute cookies and they taste good. I'm not that person, and I have to recognize that. So I just make chocolate chip because I make good. The chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, stick with your strong suit. And people look, like those. My grandmother laughs at me every fucking year because I cannot make fudge to save my life. <laughs> I can't. I have tried. Yeah. I don't even try anymore. I either scorch it or it's all grainy and weird because the sugar hasn't melted. I can't make fucking fudge. <laughs> I can't do it. Can you make fudge? <laughs> yes. It's not a skill I've inherited. Well, I'm sorry. 
But I can make a, I can make some fucking gingerbread men. Yes, you can. With the little skeletons on them. That's yes, so I make ginger oh, dead men. Are, uh, they're awesome, and I got some in the mail last year, and it really made my day. They're pretty Love rad. them. But yeah, they are I can make good. cookies. One thing to make, I w- will warn people, when you're making goodies to send to people, think about how much they weigh. Uh huh. Stick with the lightweight cookies. Not like no bakes. Yeah, Jesus, I sent no bakes. Those things are fucking expensive to ship. Well, I sent Josh and Nola some, and I put them in a box that it had potpourri in it. And when they got them, they tasted like the potpourri Ew. smell. That was nasty. Uh, and it oh. cost me a lot of money. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's when you. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say this. Hmm. Can you just send it media mail? Just say it's a book. I don't know. I got caught doing that once. I couldn't do you it. You did? How? They just, oh, they I don't know. They opened it. it or something. They sent it back to me. Oh, oh, you got bad at post office karma. I do. I don't know. The, my okay, postman didn't like me, though, because my dog tried oh. to kill him. Oh, well. I called him and yeah. said sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's not enough. Irie, it was Irie. He deserved it. He did. He shot her with mace. Yeah, bastard. Oh well. Well, now. she was chasing him. Oh, he, he deserved that too. Why? I don't know. He just did. Okay. So back on track. <laughs> now that we've got the rules and the do's and the don'ts kind of down, what are some of your favorite gifts to make for people? Oh, oh, oh! Because I want. I'm going to do a whole episode on this. Soaps. I'm really oh. not a big soap kick. Because sure everybody needs awesome to wash soap. their butt. Totally. More people should wash their butts. <laughs> That's right. And I love making soaps. And so, um, and now I started making lip balms. And it, it's so fun. And I love it. My mom loves my soap. She like kind of hoards the soap. And, and actually, she does that with, with jam, too. If you ever want to really make my mom's day, like, send her some freezer jam. She won't share it with anybody else. Um, oh, or chocolate chip cookies, too. Um, I think that's awesome. But, yeah. Yeah. But I really like making soaps a lot. Because, cause, you know, people pay a lot of money for nice soaps. I know. So it's you a nice gift. I just, what was that soap that we smelled today? And oh. it, it was a lemon verbena. Yes, it was so good. I could have <sighs> eaten that bar of soap. Could you? Ooh, okay. I know which ones to send you. I was like, uh, yeah, other one. You didn't smell all of them, did you? No. The ocean one smelled delish, but the other two smelled like dog ass. Ew. I don't know what they were. They were nasty. Wait, the what? The ocean one smelled like dog, dog no, ass, the, or it smelled good? Oh, it was really good. And they had like four of them, and two of them. It was supposed to be floral something, and they both just were nasty. Oh yeah, that's not good. Yeah, sometimes. The, the scent can get off. I know. I, I'm, I'm hoping. I've got one right now, and I'm kind of concerned that it smells like, like cigarettes. But um, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm ho- hoping that it will um, just cure and mellow out. Maybe, yeah. Well, along that vein, mm-hmm. I also like making uh, making bath salts is super easy and a fun thing to do. Oh, yeah. You've given me some bath salts, and I love them. And I need to. I need to do that too. Yeah, um, and you can look this seriously. You can look up soap recipes and bath salt recipes online. Totally, and they're super easy. Um, I really, yeah, I, I can't wait to talk about doing the soaps. The thing that I like about the soaps and the cookies and those kinds of things is they're consumables. I love consumable gifts because a lot of times people have so much shit they don't need another thing to stick on their shelf or another, exactly, you know, something that they aren't going to use. Like, I don't know. Um, one of the gifts that I really like that I get and that you make are um, the journals. Cause I journal a lot. I use yeah. journals, for tons of stuff for drawing things. And so that's something to me that's almost like a consumable because I'm using it all the time. Mm-hmm. Those are things that I really like to make or get. That's a really what good about- point. I've never really thought about that. And it's going to be something that someone's going to use and it's not going to be hanging around the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe like, You know, unless you're making, like, something specific that's, like, a painting for their wall, if they don't have the wall space, then, I mean, I've gotten things, you know, 
that were pretty big things. And like one of the things I'm thinking of in particular, somebody made us and I love it, but I've never been able to hang it anywhere. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping someday I'll be able to hang it somewhere. And it's so beautiful. Uh, well, and that's a funny the thing space. too, because you need to be careful about, I, I don't know. I think some people are weird. People like art and they might compliment your art and like it, but, I think when it comes to decorating your home, people are per- pretty sp- specific about the things that they like and dislike. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you run oh, yeah, the risk. Sure. If you're like putting your heart and soul into making a painting or a piece of art or something, you run the risk of giving someone something that you... now the pressure's on. Like, are they going to hang yeah. it? Cause you're going to be in their house. They don't want to tell you they don't uh-huh. like that. You know, you're kind of opening yourself uh-huh. up for that. So, yeah. you know, that's what I yeah, worry about sure. with, with my brother. I wor- my brother just bought a new house and I'm, I was thinking about making him a painting or a piece of art for his wall, but I also am a little bit nervous about doing that because he's pretty particular with what he likes. My brother is a very particular person. So mm-hmm. I don't really know. Like, do I want to make him something like that or do I not? Like, I don't know. Right might be safer just to make him a cool card that he could maybe frame if he wanted to, but then nobody's feelings would be hurt if it was just tucked yeah. away in a you know, safe. So yeah. So thinking about those kinds of things. That is um, a really good point though. And I think people should think about that making consumables, like things that you, people are going to use. Cause like, and one year, mm-hmm. one of the favorite things that I ever made, I was super poor one year and I just went to the fabric store and I bought, eighth yard strips of all these different kind of cool cotton fabrics an eighth of it an eighth of six dollars like it's super cheap super affordable Mm -hmm. and then i had a huge costco size bag of rice at home and i just sewed those up the sides those strips so i made a long skinny pillow shape and I filled them full of rice and lavender and then sewed them across the top. And you put those in the microwave and heat them up. And then you, you can wrap them around your shoulder. You can put them around your feet. Like they keep you warm at night or they're really good for like loosening sore muscles. And they're super mm-hmm. easy. Super easy. I made a whole bunch of those one year too. And people love them. Mm-hmm. Like, and if you put them over your eyes for when really you have good a headache. Stress- yeah, because you can make them kind of cool, too. Yeah, you can put those in the uh, freezer um, also. I, I did mine with, yeah, and, and I did mine with flaxseed um, and then lavender. And he, yeah, th- that's a really good idea, and it's pretty basic. And it's also something that somebody can just tuck, you know, tuck in a side drawer. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Mm-hmm. Um, but people like those, too, especially people if they're into meditation or yoga um, or just, you know, need to, yeah, relax. We all need to do those things. But yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's a really great idea. Those are super good gifts. And I think the only person that, the year I made those, my two younger brothers were like, what the fuck are these? But we were in our early 20s. So, but then (laughs) it was so funny because my youngest brother called me and I think it was probably one of the first winters he lived on his own, wasn't it? That was a long time ago. But he was in a house that only had wood heat. And it was so cold in the winter. He called me. He goes, this thing is fucking awesome. As soon as he figured out that he could heat it and wrap it around his feet at night. But yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff. Like, like again, bath salts. You can make sugar scrubs for people. Like, And you can find all these recipes online. You know what I'm thinking yeah. of right now that's kind of cracking me up? And I should post some... some um, some pictures of it though you do you want to be careful and do not become a victim of like the what is it called when the pinterest fails oh god that's what it is yeah the pinterest fail the pinterest oh fail. my god that i just go on there and just die laughing mm-hmm. so funny pinterest is uh, a website my mom i'm gonna have to explain this to her it's a website where you can like have bulletin boards of things that you like like cool crafting ideas or art ideas but people get these ideas and they try to do them and then they take pictures and it looks nothing like well what do you, like you've made or like anyone's made and then they try to re- recreate them and they end well, up don't just... you post a little note and say what's wrong to you idiot no <laughs> <laughs> no 
mom. Oh my god. Well, it looks nothing like what it was supposed to. What's wrong mom. with him? Mom. <laughs> hey, you don't understand it. I'll show you later and explain oh, to you. My mom doesn't interweb. <laughs> She doesn't have a computer. She has no fucking idea what Pinterest is. Like, she just doesn't know things. She oh, got in a panic when we came, when I said, okay, scoot over so she can see us. She goes, Jesus Christ, they can see us? And I said, no, no, no. We can see Sharon. It's an audio podcast. She goes, oh, thank God I wouldn't have put my, because my mom's in her pajamas. Thank you. But she said, what did you tell me you look like? I'm not going to say. Oh, well, she apparently didn't think she looked very nice. But anyway, oh. things did you, like... Did you think that you looked like an earth muffin? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I said, did you think you did? <laughs> no. If you don't, you look lovely and adorable. I didn't I think I looked like an effect. earth muffin. This is an inside joke, people. <laughs> you are the earth muffin. <laughs> Wow. Oh, right. Okay. I'm the Earth Muffin. Because my mother said the name Earth Muffin. I didn't say that. Made you. Oh. Fucking. Calm her down, toots. <laughs> Tone her down a notch, sister. She said the Earth Muffin. What did you say? It sounded like, like a, a hippie vagina. Yes, it did. A hairy, hairy hippie vagina. <laughs> But then to come to find out, that's what Sharon's husband's <laughs> uncle calls her, is Earth Muffin. <laughs> so mom was actually being an asshole and didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can be an asshole if you don't know you're doing it. Well, I don't know. You did call Sharon a hairy I hippie vagina. I even wasn't being an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> even when Joy's saying the rudest, crudest thing, she does it with the sweetest little voice. She does. And it sounds like you're getting a compliment. It's a, it's an art. It's an art form in itself. Unless you're her daughter and you're sitting on the couch and you are really, really, really out of your gourd on pain medicine. And then you poke your ankle because you want to see if the swelling's hitting edema for some reason and it hurts really bad because you just had surgery eight hours before that and then your mom goes are you fucking stupid are you a fucking That's my- idiot what's wrong with you <laughs> <laughs> jesus h christ do you take your brain out and play with it <laughs> That's how my mom talks to me, yo. Oh my god. It was good. Wow. So so we covered funny. like like anything like soaps and like I think that kind of stuff always goes over really well. What I did for Halloween for all my friends over at the round table when we went for our evening out was I harvested my lavender and I put it in tooling. I use orange and brown for Halloween. And tied a black ribbon around it in one of my skulls that I got. That I made the bracelets out of and put on it. It was quite lovely. And they put it in their underwear drawer. Well, of course. You have a lavender cute. special. Cute. It your, was cute. To make your pants That's adorable. Fresh. See. Did you give them to the men, see? too? That's perfect. I like give them to the men. I was just wondering. The girls and my friends. Okay. They got them. Not the men. Although probably some of them could have used them in their underwear drawer. Well, okay. There you have it. <laughs> there you have it. I love sachets. I have a lot of sachets. I Aren't they too. fun? They are fun. I like them too. They're so, very nice. You, you know, saying that, I have to say my brother is probably a sachet user. Oh, and he's undie drawer. Yeah. I don't think he wears underwear, but maybe in his sock drawer. Oh, you've upset my mother. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, mother, people really don't wear underwear. It's called... Going, I don't want to know. It's going commando. I don't think so. Or freeballing it. Your <laughs> brothers talk about that. Sometimes I don't wear underwear. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Sometimes it's just 
better. It's nasty. Shame on you. Hey, it's better than wearing a thong and having one up your butt cracker. Sometimes she needs to air out her earth muffin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Okay, okay. I might have needed a good scrubbing. <laughs> Did you just laugh so hard you farted again? <laughs> <laughs> you would have heard it. <laughs> That's what I thought you heard it. Jeez Louise. No. Okay. We've oh talked God. baked goods. We've talked like homeopathic awesome stuff. Like and keeping your privates clean. And yeah, okay. There's that. But also, you know, like if you do knit or crochet... You should probably find out if people wear hats and scarves and gloves before you make them those things. But that's also a good gift. I mean, I think some people yes. like them. Unless they're dumb hats that make you look like you're riding the short bras and like the windows. Elmer Fudd hats. Right. With a scarf, it's a little safer. Yeah. A scarf can be a little safer. Yeah. Like so, those or, you know what is a good one, too? Um, as long as you go through on the deal. But I, I did this for my mom one year is that I gave her, like, it was like, I think I gave her a coupon to make the, a, take her out. She got to pick out the yarn and the pattern, and then I made her the hat. That is an so excellent she, idea. But you got to follow through on that shit, people. You totally do. You can't just give empty promises of Christmas coupons and think that you get to fly You like know, that. that's a good point, because I will say, I made my husband one year a coupon book, and it, it was a naughty coupon book, some of it. like some Good of it. God! Jesus Christ, Mom. I have sex, okay? But Jesus Christ! Do you want the whole fucking world to know? Mother, it was like, I gave him the gift. Do I? I don't care. I gave him the gift personally. Oh my God, podcast world. I have sex. Shit. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't follow oh through God. on the coupon book, and I have not fucking heard the end of it. Oh, no. We've been no. married hey, for big 10 coupon. years. I know. Shame. I know. No, not for following through. Shame for doing that. Shame. Oh. Next time I go to write out a blowjob coupon, <laughs> I'll consult you first. That's sick. And potty mouth Joy doesn't like to talk that's, about sex. That's nasty. Lord. Oh, good Lord. Oh, my God. So, oh. yeah. And, you know, anything that you make with family pictures and stuff, I think, is always a good gift. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know. Oh, oh, and the other ones that are good, that have been so successful, grandparents love this. They eat this shit up. Is the the calendar of their grandchildren. Yep. Oh my god, in one year I did it was so awesome and the kids fucking loved it. I just with my photo editing software, and this was before I ever had Photoshop or anything, it I think it might have even come with my camera software. I f gathered up family photos and there's an option to turn it into like coloring book pages. Oh, cool. And I printed off and bound fa a family coloring books for all the kids. Now that's awesome. And got them cheap little boxes of crayons. It was, they still have them. Like the kids still have that's them. So and cool. use them sometimes. It's, it's awesome. But I found like all these funny pictures of from like her family. Yeah. And they were, it would, they turned out really cool. Why don't you do that for Nola? Well, maybe I could. That'd be cute. Maybe I could. That's nice. really cute. Yeah, those, but anything like that. And you're right. Can you do that on Apple? I think so. Oh, cool. I'm going to check that out. Yeah. I don't, I think. These are good tips, people. Yeah, they're awesome tips. What are some other really, like, mom, you haven't said anything about homemade gifts that have worked for you. What are some homemade gifts that you've done? Well, I said the sachet. Oh, beyond your sachet, yes. I don't give homemade gifts. Why not? Well, because I'll tell you why. 
because about the time I go and make someone something or do something nice and cute for them, and then they don't exactly appreciate it, it makes them really mad, and I feel like I need to go to their house and knock on their door and slug them in the face. So it's best just to go buy something and give it to them and say, there you go. Who's, who's, who's? I've had several people I've wanted to kill over a Who? It doesn't matter. They're dead now. Oh. Well, then do tell. Um, no. I don't think that Joy's confessing to anything, but maybe we should just make that clear. Oh. That they're not yeah. Yeah, no, dead. You, because they're not dead because them of in the you, face. right? Not unless you can will them dead. No. No, okay. So, yeah. Just buy him a box of candy and put a fucking ribbon on it and say, Merry Days, here you go. <laughs> wow. Well, that, that's not very helpful. I know. But what I like to do to my very good friends that I truly do love and adore, it's used to with Judy and all of them, and our yeah. auxiliary, was because we all liked our tea. Is you buy a really pretty teacup and you fill it full of different kind of teas and you take the little tooling and wrap it around in a little bow then put it in a little gift bag and give it to them. It's very nice. They got their teacup oh, with their tea. I love that. I love that. That is a good idea. I love tea and I, I love teacups. Too. And yeah. you just reminded me of one year for my friends and this is a cool idea. I mixed up cookie, like the dry ingredients to a cookie recipe mm -hmm. and then I put them in a Ziploc bag and I sewed like a little cloth bag with a drawstring and then mm -hmm. I wrote out the recipe like add one egg and a cup of milk or whatever and then bake it you know roll them out and cut them and bake it whatever like the rest of the instructions for the sugar cookie recipe and then I put in um, cookie cutters and stuff and I in a big in a mixing bowl with wooden spoons and stuff. And I gave it to friends that have little kids. So that's like, a great one for, cause our Sterling loves that, that when we get stuff like that, cause that's something we can do together. Yeah. It's like a family activity. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. I think that that's a great one for when people have little kids. And I like that a lot. And it's really like, you know, I, we've already discussed the fact that I'm fucking Buddy the Elf and I get really fucking excited about Christmas. And one of the things that my favorite things about Christmas is giving presents. Giving? Mm -hmm. Giving oh, I was gonna say, presents. Well, that's just a greedy ass. No! I love to give presents oh, and so I get I. really fucking excited. And that's why it makes me mad if I give someone I get so excited and then they don't act like they even like it. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Well, don't, yeah. don't, don't do that. You got to act really excited, I guess. You do, because I hate that. No. God, Mom. What? You're what? a vicious little beastie. <laughs> you know I don't like Christmas. I love Christmas, and I don't I know. I don't. I know. I'm the only, this is what I was saying last time. I'm the only fucking person in my family that loves Christmas. I love it. Wow. I'm like, well, I'm so fucking excited. That I'm getting my Christmas tree the day after Thanksgiving this year. I think the people across the street from us have their Christmas tree already. I saw twinkly lights in there and we were standing at the bus stop and I'm pretty sure they have it. That's awesome. And Sterling said, well, what are they just going to skip Thanksgiving? But he was kind of excited about it because he's Buddy Elf too. Sterling and I are, we're kind of soulmates. Yeah. You really are. He I loves think you might be. Too. Hmm? Sterling loves glitter too. Hmm. Oh my God. I saw sparkly at Pier One Imports. If I would have had the money, I would have bought them for him, even though they fucking freaked me out. They had oh. a little box of sparkly nutcracker dudes. Oh my God. They are were you like kidding? Are six they, of them. Are they like ornaments? Were they ornaments? No, no. They I were just little so. collectors, but they were about three or four inches tall. They were little guys. Oh my god. He's already picked out. He picked out because he wants to start his brother a Nutcracker collection too. So he got his brother one for the holidays already. Um, and he's already informed me which kind he wants. Because, you know, my son keeps out his Nutcrackers all year. Oh, does he and have any girl last... Nutcrackers? Do they what? Does he have any girl Nutcrackers? No, not yet. Because they have them at Pier 1. The girls. They do? Yeah, they're awesome looking. 
Oh, they're wow. kind of in a king. He might want dress. that because this, this year he wants a king, and last mm. year's was covered, covered in green glitter. I mean, covered. <laughs> Glitters the shiz. It is. It really is. He loves himself some glitter. Holy shit! So yeah, we're gonna have to wrap this up because we're like almost oh my fifty God. Oh, minutes. Okay. So yeah, really. I hope we gave you some good ideas about some gifts and when in doubt, search on the internet because you know, the interwebs, there's all kinds of ideas out there. Oh yeah. Pinterest. There's st- there's boards that are like 32 DIY gifts for the holidays, easy DIY. You know, there's those kinds of things. Look those up. Yeah. And again, give yourself time and take your time and really think about who you're gifting to. So that, you know, mm-hmm. you're, you want to give a gift that from the heart that means something. That's right. So, but other than that, so if, you know, I think, I think did you have anything else you wanted to add, Ma? No, just make sure that, you know, you pick someone to give a gift to if they're going to like it. Because you don't want that feeling you want to slug them in the face afterward. Yeah. You no know, one wants to feel like they want to slug someone in the face on Christmas. Jesus. That's right. Wise words. Yeah. If you guys have any ideas that we didn't talk about, or you have a funny homemade gift story or a gift disaster story, uh, you can send us an email at two artsy gals at gmail.com. And we would love to hear about them and we'll pass them on to the rest of our listeners. Um, and we, I will put up some links to maybe some instructions for soap making or um, instructions for making bath salts and, I'll kind of look around and find some cool links for this episode uh, for you to go check out. And those will be on our blog at 2rcgals.wordpress.com. And I think that is everything today. We do not have any listener mail or announcements, but next week we're going to be talking about holiday decor and how to make that not sucky and boring all the time and how to zhuzh up your house. So nice. Until then, go make some cool shit, yo. Yo. Bye.